Hi and good day. For this week, I will bring you 7 3D print upgrades that will make your Ender tree up and running. So let's get to it. It has been 3 weeks since I bought my 3D printer and truly I've enjoyed every moment with it. And since these 3 weeks, I have upgraded some parts of it with 3D models that are readily available in Thingiverse. And the link of all the upgrades that I have done here will be in the description below. And also shout out to Teaching Tech and Maker's Muse for their reviews on this 3D printer. They are one of the keys why I choose this printer. And for today's video, I'll walk you through some of the things I think are the best upgrades for beginners for this reality in their tree. As I've searched the YouTube before I bought this printer as you can see in this photo, one of the major problems of this printer is that the boarding tube is moving causes stringing and print fails. But luckily, thanks to Creality, they have answered this by giving clips that is not 3D printed for both sides of the extruder. So you can see here, it is perfectly fitted in this printer. The first test print that I did for this printer is using the white filament that comes along with it. And I just printed using the G-code that is in the free SD card, which in this case is a cat. And for this, I tried if it is tough to print the whole model, and suddenly it doesn't. As you can see here, it is finished until the neck only. But to tell you honestly, I expect less in this first print and I never expect that it will come out nice with all the fine details of this little print. And secondly, I have seen one of the problems of this printer which is the filament touching the lid screw. And I addressed that problem by printing a filament guide as you can see here. I opted on the screwed model so I need to take out a loaded filament first before I can install the filament guide. The next issue that I address is the extruded filament going in the fan of the main board panel. As this 3D printer has the fan upwards, I nearly damage the fan of this board as this printer is programmed to purge the filament at the edge first before doing the print. That is why some of the debris goes to the fan and for that I printed the main board fan cover and for this I opted for the no logo or no up and down letters as this model of fan cover comes in three designs. Then I printed also the top filament guide to address the issue of the extruder pulling the filament straight and not in a curved pattern, which causes the extruder not extruding enough filament and causes stringing. The next thing I printed is the extruder knob, screen panel back cover, and the cable clip all in one print as they fit all together in the bed. The extruder knob will allow me to turn the extruder for easier loading of the filament. The screen panel back cover will cover the board that is exposed in this printer. It will not affect the performance of this printer but will help on the aesthetic and clean looking control panel. For this, I opted on a design that will reuse the existing screws and with a beeper uncovered. The next one is the cable clip that will help you manage dangling cables at the back, which can be installed using M3 by 10 bolts into the lid screw motor. And lastly, for this batch of first 3D prints that I did, since I wanted to time lapse every one of my print using a GoPro and I need a bed handle for me to pull the bed easier, the next one that I printed is the bed handle with GoPro mount. This is easy to install, you just need to take out the two bed leveling knobs at the front and put the bed handle with GoPro mount and screw back the bed leveling handles. The only problem I have seen on this is that it is too wobbly and the handle is too flimsy and sometimes gets in the way of the moving filament extruder. And these are the 7 first 3D printed upgrades that I did since I bought this Creality Ender 3. And there will be a part 2 of these upgrades that I have done and watch that one out in the upcoming week. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new videos. And of course, if you have questions or you need any help or if you have any suggestions or comments, don't be shy to ask in the comment section below. See you guys next week. As always, keep creating. Cheers!